A fans of the Star Trek franchise lost another cornerstone of their universe just a week after the passing of Leonard Nimoy. But this sci-fi giant spent most of his time behind the scenes. Fox 26's Matt Jordan spoke to colleagues and friends of Harv Bennett, the man credited with saving Star Trek. Space, the final frontier. The famous opening line from one of science fiction's most expansive universes. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds. Worlds that may have never been explored if it weren't for one man. He is credited as the man who saved Star Trek. Movie producer Harve Bennett passed away in Medford at the age of 84, leaving behind a legacy that spanned galaxies. He entirely wrote Star Trek III. Um, but uh, he was partially involved in the writing on 2 and Star Trek 4. Movie publicists Paula Block Erdman and Terry Erdman worked with Bennett on the set of Star Trek 5. Took me over to where they were having a movie production meeting and immediately introduced me to Bill Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and suddenly I was on the crew. But Bennett's work was hardly limited to the final frontier. Steve Austin, astronaut, a man barely alive. That's Bennett's voice introducing the six million dollar man. Created and produced a number of television shows. He worked on the six, six million dollar man. He was a producer on the bionic woman. It was Bennett's work on the Wrath of Khan, the movie that revived the Star Trek franchise. He actually sat down and watched all 79 episodes of the original series so that he had a feel for what the characters were like and what the stories were like. That solidified Bennett's name alongside sci-fi's greats, like longtime friend Leonard Nimoy. Live long and prosper. That's with Leonard Nimoy. There's one of him with Bill Shatner. A man who would boldly go where no man had gone before. We've lost two legacies, you know, without Leonard Nimoy and Harve Bennett, a whole era has suddenly disappeared. In Jacksonville, Matt Jordan, Fox 26 News. Well, Bennett had been battling oral cancer and he reportedly passed away Wednesday in Medford with family by his side. He had been a longtime resident of Jacksonville before his death and somehow a lot of us just didn't know. Well, next year will be the 50th anniversary of the creation of Star Trek. Thank you so much, Matt, for that story. Well, this story